Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Abroad Vacancies, your go to channel for all things related to international work opportunities. Have you ever dreamed of working in Canada but felt overwhelmed by the process of obtaining a work permit visa? Today, we're diving deep into everything you need to know about securing a work permit visa for Canada. Whether you're a software developer, a teacher, or a chef, Canada might be looking for someone with your skills. But first, what exactly is a work work permit visa? It's a document issued by the Canadian government that allows them from a foreign country to work in Canada legally. Now, why is this important? Canada is known for its high standard of living, diverse communities, and strong economy. This makes it a top destination for job seekers worldwide. Let's break down the process step by step. First, you need a job offer from a Canadian employer. This is crucial because your employer will need to provide a document called an LMIA. LMIA stands for Labor Market Impact Assessment. It shows that there is a need for a foreign worker to fill the job and that no Canadian worker is available to do the job. Once you have your job offer and LMIA, you can apply for the work permit visa. This application can be done online or on paper. You'll need to provide personal information, details about your job in Canada, and proof of your qualifications. This includes your resume, certificates, and references. Don't forget about the fees. There's a processing fee, which is generally around 155 Canadian dollars. Now, let's talk about the types of work permits. There are two main types, open and employer-specific. An open work permit allows you to work for any employer in Canada. An employer-specific permit, as the name suggests, restricts you to one specific employer. Which one you apply for depends on your situation. For example, if you're accompanying a spouse who is studying or working in Canada, you might be eligible for an open work permit. Now, how long does it take to get a work permit visa? Processing times can vary, but it generally takes a few weeks to a few months. It's important to apply as early as possible to avoid delays. What happens after you apply? You might be asked to provide more documents or to attend an interview. You might also need to undergo a medical exam or biometric screening. Once your application is approved, you'll receive a letter that you need to show when you enter Canada. This letter is not your work permit. You'll get your work permit when you arrive in Canada. Now, let's talk about living in Canada. Finding a place to live, setting up a bank account, and understanding Canadian workplace culture are all important steps. It's also a good idea to connect with communities and networks related to your profession. This can help you settle in and find opportunities for career advancement. Remember, working in Canada can be a rewarding experience. It offers the chance to gain international work experience and live in one of the world's most welcoming countries. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative content. Your comments and questions are welcome. Let's keep the conversation going. Thank you for watching, and here's to your success in navigating the work permit visa process for Canada.